What's the best team that I have to beat horror mode in the house, the Crypt Kings? Well, in this video you're about to find out in... 3, 2, 1... Welcome back to Bean Gaming. In this video, I'm going to go through all four maps, all four Crypt Kings, and show you the best loadout that I have. And maybe you have it, maybe you don't, maybe you found something better than mine. But either way, I'm happy to share this with you, and I'm going to beat all four of these maps on Expert Mode. So we're going to hop in right away with King Raphael's Tomb, and we're going to go to Expert Mode, and these are the heroes that I'm going to use. And I'll kind of talk about it when we get in the game. But I'm not going to start from the beginning. We're going to start probably at the end of Wave 24 on End of Wave 25 that way you can see what's going on there and we can talk a little bit so here we go we're about to start wave 24 and look at this chaos that's going on right now i want to share with you the different heroes that i have out and their placements you can see i have the fallen angels in the back as a safeguard i have my demon mage right over here boosting every hero except night fang because there's a bug i guess i have two night fangs in front i have a shiny lucifer and i have my ice queens placed strategically so that any enemy that comes down any one of these paths is going to get stunned momentarily. And this is a lot, but these little wing skeletons are actually like little gnats. They actually don't do much. It's these skeleton generals that are insane. And look at this. They're funneling right through here. And I want them all close together because that way my AoE heroes, they're going to be able to zap them like they are right now. And we're on wave 25, and I do have one of my shiny nightmare lucifers aimed on strongest. Or at least I should. There we go. There you see that right there so now that means that my other heroes are targeting the other enemies but I can at least start to take down some of this health look at this is this four million I can't my, yeah, it must be four million but look at this they're all funneling through here I'm, this is gonna be close a lot closer than I well I don't know these skeleton generals are all going through the fallen angels of doom and fallen angel right now is doing look at that look at that damage that he's doing yes look at this that is awesome I have the Lucifer boost, I have the Demon Mage boost, and it, and plus my team is demons anyway, so that's pretty cool. The next map we're going to try is King Darkskull's Tomb, and this is the Alliance King Crypt. Notice that I just swapped out Lucifer for, my, I put in my Archangel for Lucifer. Archangel is going to be a lot more damage per second, plus it's level 5 and it's a shiny. Now that's going to kind of trump my Fallen Angels boost, or the Lucifer boost the Fallen Angel, which is totally fine. I mean, this, just, this should still work out just fine. Let's hop on in game here and get to that wave 24 and see what this looks like. We're about to hit wave 24. Look at this. I have my Archangels in front. Remember, I swapped out Lucifer for Archangel. Archangel is a little bit better, but my Demon Mage is able to cover all of my heroes. I have my Fallen Angels in the back for support. I have this one Ice Queen up front here. She's slowing down or stunning. I shouldn't say stunning. She's slowing down all of these enemies. Look at the hordes and hordes and mobs of all these enemies. Although these little wing skeletons, they're not much. This one Ice Queen should be able to work some of them out or get rid of them. But I have my Night Fangs going to work. It's just a lot going on here. And I do have one Archangel set to strong. Everyone else is normal. So nothing crazy going on here. Now we just hit wave 25. We pretty much cleared wave 24. So again, the main thing for me is that I don't have Dark Vision. I just have a pure Demon Mage. So the range isn't anything crazy, but I am able to get all my heroes within this particular range of my demon mage. So check this out. Look at all <laughs> look at all this. I don't am I gonna even be able to survive this? I, I I think so. I should be able to. But what's my fallen angel doing? It's doing sixty thousand over here where my ice queen is doing sixty one thousand, but I only have four ice queens versus my six or my five fallen angels. And I think we should be okay. Look at this. Look at these. We should be able to get there. The skeleton generals are just insane. Come on, get them. Get them. We have a few more to go. Get them. All right, now we're totally focused on the Alliance Crypt King. And yes, good. We got him. All right, back to the lobby. Here we go. We're about to take a journey to King Reverend's Tomb and notice that I had to swap out my Night Fang because Night Fang does not work with King Reverend. And then I did, and it, well I am able to use Super Punch now, and Super Punch, as you'll see in a little bit, actually does really well on this crypt. So let's hop on in game here and see what we can do. We're about to start wave 24. Take a look at the placements. I have my Archangels right in the middle here. I have my Demon Mage 
The cool thing about Demon Mage right here is that she does cover the Ice Queens in the front, Ice Queen in the front, and the Ice Queen in the back, which is super helpful. I also place an Ice Queen over here and one over here. That way, those Ice Queens will be able to slow down these enemies that are coming from from either of these sides and just slows them down and that's really really helpful and look at them just falling right on in now I remember I couldn't use night fangs so I have these cheeky devils here and they're only doing 50,000 about 51,000 every attack but that's still I, I have six of them placed down because remember super punch is only four placements so I can place an additional cheeky devil especially because there's seven of them you could place although I don't need the seven in addition to that I do have my super punches all set to strongest that way, when the King Reverend comes out like he is right now, look at that damage and Super Punch is just completely annihilating him. It's not even going to be close. It's going to be game over really quick right now. Oh, it looks like he chose one of my Super Punches. It doesn't really matter. And the rest of these enemies don't matter because as soon as the boss is dead, then the game is done. See, look at that. Over with and done. The Super Punches really, really do help out. All right, back to the lobby. One more, one more King Crypt. We're about to enter King Hellspawn's tomb, the Demon King Crypt. This is pretty sweet. So none of my demons are going to work here. And so I just did a quick swap. I put in my Night Fang back in the game, and I took out Cheeky Devil. And I think this is a pretty good team. So that's the only thing that I switched from the last mode. Let's hop on in game here, and then we'll hop. We'll, get, we'll fast forward to Wave 24. Finishing up Wave 23, just look at all these Skeleton Commanders. Skeleton Commander, yes, another one. These guys... 1.5 million health they're quite a bit to handle but we're able to do that this map here it has the shortest track possible at least from what i've seen it's basically two t's put together so there's not much wiggle room on where these enemies are going that's why i have an ice queen in the front ice queen in the back and then i have a couple ice queens on each side of these pillars normally i like to put my aoe units right here on the corners one in the middle and then four around the corners here but these pillars kind of make that not possible so I had my Ice Queens on the side over here. They still have enough range. It's still good. But the Ice Queen is really best used to slow these enemies down. Especially on horror mode. Because these enemies are 25% faster. And once again, I have my Super Punches all set to strongest. So hopefully my other heroes are going to be able to take out these Skeletons. While my Super Punches are totally focused on this boss here and yes it looks like that's going to be the case although wait you guys are missing this what what's going on here How oh man the targeting is off here oh but we did win nice back to the lobby what's the team that you use let me know in the comments down below maybe your team is better than mine let me know what you have and then maybe you have a suggestion for me what team should i use if you did enjoy this video go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell thanks again for watching everyone hope you have a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye